Hi guys, my name is Karen from Delta State. I'm a marketer at Silvercon Group. We give loan investments and also we do, we do loans child savings. And today I am here in Love Abuja to see if I can find someone or not. I don't know. But let's see how it goes. Sorry, I can't hear you. What's your name? My name is Shady, but um, everyone calls me Mr. Goldiga. So, okay, please, can you speak up a little louder? I can't hear you. Shady. Shady. But everyone calls me Mr. Goldiga. Goldiga. Yes. What are you doing? Gold. Gold. Yeah. From where? Wherever I can find it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Karen. Karen. Yes, Karen from Delta State. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm from Edo State. Oh, yeah, do. Ah, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. when they was here with my neighbor. Mm -hmm. We were um, together before. I've been to Delta State a couple of times. Yeah, uh, sure, definitely you should. I mean, they're yeah. close. Have you ever been to Edo State? No. Never? No, nah, never. Where were you born? I was born in Delta State. I grew up in and Delta I went, State. moved to Bayelsa, but I cut. Now we're in Abuja. Do you, do you travel a lot? Kind of, kind of, not really, but kind of. Have you ever wondered what you, what um, Edo State will be like? Uh, what I've been seen on TV so far, I don't think I, I, I'm wondering anything anymore. Mm, well, it's not that different from the Delta States. I know, but I still <laughs> prefer my Delta States to your Bini. Yes, okay, so. okay. Something people usually assume not everybody from Edo State is from Benin. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, what do you do? Um, a lot. So, a to, lot. To, Can you just list? To um, sum it up, I'll say I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. I, well, something I enjoy doing as a job and as a hobby is painting. Not sketching, like painting walls, buildings. Mm. Yeah, I did that from school and after school. Okay, I would say um, it was a, it's a nice person. Yeah, but he talks really low. I mean, I have a low voice. I, can't, I don't see myself talking to my man that sounds lower than I do. Already my voice alone is an issue to me. Talk more of a guy's voice like that. In the past, I had modeled. Okay. I I was once um, a catwalk instructor as well. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah, I have an up and coming fashion brand. Mm -hmm. Stealth. I don't I don't go about advertising it unless it's like one on one. If okay. I see you and feel like um, what I do will look good on you, I maybe tell you about it. Or if you see me and you like what I'm putting on and you talk about it then. You can sew? Or like a fashion designer or something? I design. I have you people design. that make them. Okay, yes. you have people that make them then. Oh. Yes, I do. Okay. So, well, I've been, I've been talking a lot. What about you? What about, I mean, ask me questions, sir. I've been the one asking you. So yeah. just ask what me. do you do? What do I do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm a marketer <laughs> at Silvercone Group. It's a company that gives our loan. We invest and also do child savings. Silvercon. Yeah, Silvercon. You can silver check it out. Silver. silver, silver. The silver you know then. K U U N. Oh. Yeah, so you could check it out. Probably you want to invest or want to loan for your business. Share your fast and you start. Yes, yeah, we so can give you that, no problem. Come and come and get loan from us. Loans loans will make me get sleepless nights. Uh <laughs> no wahala. So you base here in Abuja? Yes I do. And um he explains things too much to my liking. I mean, if you ask a question, there's some kind of explanation we need as a girl, but this kind of guy is when you ask him a question, he's going to give you like two chapters just for one question. Okay, so that's just it. I don't really like that. So tell me, what do you love? What do you love doing apart from your fashion designing and all that? What do you love doing? What, what are your hobbies? Well, 
painting will top that list, then I enjoy um, movies. I like going to new places, but if the, the, the whole in between, going from point A to point B, I just want to wake up at point A and find myself in point B. Just the, like that. The, the journey gets me really uneasy, but I like to travel. I like to see nature. Uh, I like to read, but not the way. I, I don't say this much because when, when I say I like to read, people assume maybe I, I, I am a bookworm or I've, I've read um, any, any book you can think of. I like to read. You just like to read without reading, does it? Yeah. Mm. Then, okay. Oh, I have no problem with cooking. I enjoy cooking. Can you cook? Um, for myself, I can. <laughs> oh, okay. whatever I can eat, so, I can make. Alright, that's good. Yeah. So, if I should ask you what brought you to find love, are you really looking for love, or what exactly are you looking for here? Well, uh, um, the the idea of this um, show of us being here right yeah. now is to find love in Abuja yeah, yeah. and you, you should be familiar with the, the very 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 popular opinion that there is no love in Abuja mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it is very difficult to find love in Abuja but maybe this platform could be a way of um, proving them wrong mm -hmm. maybe so, starting from you and I okay. <laughs> depending on how it goes uh, that's okay then. that's mm -hmm. how it goes so Mommy, what, ask me questions. Uh, what about you? About me what? What are your hobbies? What are my hobbies? Okay. Yeah. I love swimming. I can swim here. Yeah. Dancing. Not so much though. Just a little. What else? I love playing. Playing to is an hobby. Sha. I love playing. When you say playing, what do you, <laughs> what do you mean? I what just do you like mean goofing playing? around. Then we just put it that way. I just oh, like yeah. goofing around. Yes. Oh. I love playing. Is it stress? Mm? Is it stress? Not really, not really. But well, I mean, it makes me happy, so I just do it for fun. That's nice. Well, I I swim, okay. but I wouldn't call swimming a hobby because mm -hmm. I seldom go swimming. Of course, I play a lot. I pretty much feel like we have um, a lot in common. She likes the things I I like. And um, it, it makes sense to me because that's, that's a ground for vibing. Then she did not in any way sound um, condescending. She, she, she sounded um, really calm. The reason why many kids like me. Uh, yeah. Because then, you play a lot. Yes. Mm. Okay. I am the people. I am the people you see in their in their fifties still watching SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I get that. Just I get it. Yeah. That's cool. Not bad. So not bad. So nice. tell me, since you're here, when you put here, mm -hmm. what are you looking for in a girl you would like to date? Well, what kind so, of girl are you looking for? Yeah, I, to start with the basic things that I would expect mm -hmm. um, from a girl. I am not one of the people that will talk about inner beauty and stuff like that. Please be physically beautiful. It is very important to me because... Are you physically handsome yourself? Maybe if I was, I wouldn't be emphasizing on the girl being because I don't want my kids to, you know, <laughs> you just go said through what I am going, to, going through. Yeah. It is, oh. Mm -hmm. oh, this, that, that was straight. Okay, no, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. So, be physically beautiful. Okay. Be very, very kind. And when I say kindness, don't just be kind to me. Your demeanor towards strangers, towards people we meet outside, yeah. says a lot about you. I don't judge you from how you, like, how you treat me. Mm -hmm. You may be nice to me because you like me. What about the people you have no like um, particular feeling for? Okay. 
how do you treat them? So kindness does not just, it, it is not limited to um, a group of people. Mm -hmm. If you're a kind person, it will go around. And I love kindness. Be kind. Okay. Then I, I, will, I will actually prefer somebody that, um, despite the fact that this, this show is about finding love, mm -hmm. I prefer somebody that puts effort on your scale of preferences in what you want in people. Put some, somebody that shows effort in wanting to um, keep a relationship afloat, despite the ups and the downs. Effort, effort will actually do a lot, a lot of good, more yeah. than love. I am one of the people that believe in the school of thought that um, love is never enough okay. and without without kindness effort the love dies quickly it's like getting a, a, a new pair of shoes and you you want to show it off you want to um, wear it to your next outing and all of that of course you, you like it but after a while the shoe is still good the shoe is still wearable perfect but you are not, you, you need a reason to, you know, want to still go um, to certain places wearing those, um, wearing that shoe. So I like efforts, I like kindness, and, you know, be, just be a good person. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you? What do you want? In, in like your ideal man. Looking yeah. for my ideal man. Yeah. Uh, okay. I would say I want someone that is adventurous to get. Yes. Was it playful? Because I'm very playful. I don't take things too serious. <laughs> you understand? And oh. a leader, someone that can lead. Mm -hmm. And someone that can match my own sense of humor. Is a she's a great person with a great spirit. I love that she's, she's glad about being playful because I am very playful and I like that she highlighted sense of humor. Um, should I go on with physical appearance, if you if, don't mind? If, if it's important to you, why not? Yeah, sure it is. should be important to you too. Like you said, the, the girl must be beautiful <laughs> to get, so yeah. Of course it is. Oh, God. So yes, my man should be tall because I'm not at tall. Um, I have never had any any insecurity about about my physical appearance, and I think I am fair enough in that in that um, whole spec of wanting someone muscular. In her definition, the person doesn't have to be huge and all of that. Not like I'm short. I'm not short. I'm just saying. Should be told so that you'll height? be able to carry me. Carry you? <laughs> yes, no. Interesting. How, how tall are you? Uh, I'll say I'm 5'3, five, 5'4. Five, she did mention that she's not certain about her height. Well, 5'4 is quite short. I don't have, um, I don't have height preference either. I don't really okay. know, sure. Just there. We'll see. I've already had time to check that. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I like guys. I like my guys. It, it should be muscular. Mm -hmm. Yes, you must be like, I mean, you should like going to the gym because I like going to the gym. I work out a lot, so you should also be able to go to the gym with me once in a while. I mean, I don't need to force him, but yeah, that's the kind of color I want. And a guy that has beards. Beards? Yes, beards. <laughs> okay. A guy that when I'm walking beside him, you good. I can like raise my shoulder up, you understand? You'll be, you'll be proud of the person you're yeah, walking Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. kind of guy. Well, among the things you listed, maybe I checked like two boxes because Please tell me I the like... ones you checked also. I, I will know what I'm doing. Which one do you check? I like working out. I go to the gym. So are you muscular? Not particularly. Well, I, do, I don't know your own definition, but not particularly. I'm a skinny person. Oh, you're skinny. Oh. Yeah. Maybe skinny in, the, in the gym uh, term, mm -hmm. I feel lean. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Like you've not gotten to that point yet uh, of my well, definition of muscular. When I mean muscular, guys, 
I'm not when I talk about muscular, I'm not talking about bouncers. No, I don't need the bouncer to come. No, I'm not thinking about bouncers. I'm just talking. I mean, just broad shoulders you get. Well, you're strong. Well, well, I am average. You're average. But I love to work out. I go to the gym often. That's cool. I like it. And I, I am not five three. So Yo. yes, I know I am taller than you. You're taller than me. Maybe yeah. not as tall as you would want, but okay. I am taller than you. <laughs> All right. So, so, so tell me, what kind of, what complexion of girls do you like? Dark I skin, I fair chocolate, not, caramel. I do not have um, okay. a preference okay. for okay. complexion. All right. The only, the only preference I hold, talking about physical appearance. Yeah. The only preference I hold very dear to my heart is being beautiful. Everything else can be negotiated. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, especially beautiful. Me? Mm. Ah, your wife must be really fine, though. God she help me. She has to be. <laughs> God help me. If 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 not for me, for the sake of our children, right? Very well. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. So All right. complexion, I don't know. What about you? Do you have complexion yeah, preference? Yeah, I do. I do. What is your preference? Ah, uh, I like white guys. I mean, my friend always tell me I'm obsessed with white guys, but no, I'm not. I just like the complexion here, yeah? and that guy is very cool. My skin color very cool. So well, yeah. So obviously, we already know that I am not white. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> I love white guys, yeah. and I also love my skin color. Black people. You love white African. people and you love black. black people. Yes. I don't think you. So, what is your preference? Are you red? Are there red people? Are you red? I am not. Because I just mentioned black. I also mentioned white. It seems you're not in. You're not part of those two I just mentioned. So, are you no, red? No, I am in between. Oh, you're in. Oh. I'm brown. You're brown. Maybe. Is there waiting? Please look at your brown. Let me understand. Brown. You're brown. Like, like you're not black. You're not white. Stay, you're just brown. You know, brown. Like staying in the oven a little longer than expected. Oh, <laughs> no, now. Overcooked. Overcooked. <laughs> in between black and white. You're overcooked in between black and white. Mm -hmm. Eh? Okay. No, so, that All right. Um. Well. Um. What do you do for fun? Like at your leisure. Okay, um, because I go to work, I barely have time for myself this period. Mm -hmm. So when I come back, most times I just want to hang out with my friends. Let's go out, mm -hmm. go to the park, go watch a movie, just go get ice cream and all that. Not too much. Okay. Yeah. So what like top three ideal um, kind of dates you enjoy? Top three. Hmm. I love dinner dates in a very, very fancy restaurant. Yeah, might not be so fancy, but fancy, that's one. And um, we can go for just popcorn and probably in the pack, just go to the pack, take a walk in the pack. Mm. I'll go watch a movie, I mean. But my top yeah. one is dinner date in a fancy restaurant, me dressed up, looking all dolled up and all that. So yeah, that's it. Mm, that makes but sense. But not my well, I'm just saying. So do you not find, um, like, Loud nightlife, interesting. Loud? No, I'm not really a loud person. Yeah, so I don't really like loud things. But you get. Do you do you club or do you have a problem with that? I don't club, but I don't have a problem with that. So if 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 you get invited to like um, nightlife kind of events, yeah, you turn it down. No, the nightlife doesn't have to be in club. Yeah. Club. Do you get? Let me be precise. Okay. Okay, let's just go to club. Yeah. Mm, depends. So if I'm being invited with my guy, I might just follow him. Don't you think it will kind of kill the vibe if, if, if you're not having fun as well? No, it doesn't mean I will not have fun here. The fact that I said I might follow him doesn't mean I'll just go there, sit and press my phone or just watch okay. you dance. No, I'm okay. just going to go with the flow. Do you dance? Mm? Do you dance? I dance, yes. Mm. I was born to dance. Yes. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, don't take it serious, please. That is a bet I, I am very sure I would win. Anyway, I go betting against myself to win a dance uh, competition. Again. You can dance. Not to so save my life. So if he competes, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> please, let's bet. I don't mind. Let's do it now, sir. I will bet against myself now. You bet. <laughs> you bet against yourself to lose. Yes. Ah, beautiful. Then let's do it now. <laughs> What's the fun? I don't. I I can't sing. I can mm. dance. Okay. But I love music. Mm -hmm. I I cannot tell you particular. I love sad songs. Oh, you're the emotional type. Mm. Mm. If you want to put it that way, but I, I enjoy sad songs because I feel there is a connection. Like the artist is actually talking about something mm -hmm. that happened to them yeah. or a loved one, and it just makes sense to me. Okay, that's cool. But listening to music for me, like it comes with the mood. I cannot wake up early in the morning and start playing Charlie Poppy and mm -hmm. all of this stuff. I can, but there are times that I feel like, okay, yes, let's just be in this mood and the music comes and I vibe with it for a while. And uh, do you love music? I love music, country music. Ooh. Country music. That's yes. nice. Old school. I love country music too. Country music is not I old abuse. school. Jeez. I it's beg your pardon. <laughs> country music is not if old we school. Weren't blind, there if, is we no were, <laughs> if we weren't blindfolded. Mm hmm. By show of hands, how many people here loves country music? I mean, no, I'm very sure it will be you. Just me, yeah. yeah. That's what makes it special. I mean, yeah, of course. I have, I love country music. I mm. abused country music in 2018 uh. <laughs> because um, my friends that we were living together, like they, they had to move to Lagos, and it was just me. Was it 2018 that um, this man died? What's his name? This guy has sang, Lord, I hope this day is good. Okay. So tell me, what, when was the last relationship? And what was it like? Mm, it was, it was great to an extent. Taught okay. me a lot. Taught me a whole lot. <laughs> well, so when did you guys break up? About four years ago. Since then, four years ago, you haven't been in any other relationship till now? Nothing defined. Are so you yes. I'm not. Are you Come being on. serious? Of course. Why? Well, I have tried to make excuses for it and say, okay, maybe, maybe I, I don't feel hurt. Is I did not even feel hurt when it happened. So I was trying to blame it on, okay, maybe I had a bad breakup and all of that stuff. But I, I choose to like walk away from the relationship. Okay, I mean, so, what I'm trying to say is that we left the relationship four years ago. Since about, then, okay, about four years ago, like mm -hmm. three, three, three years ago, so now there. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the special relationship, I mean, I like the fact that it gave himself so much time to heal. Yeah, so that's a good thing. Since then, you've not been in any other relationship. Nothing different. You haven't. Yet. It's not like you've not met anybody, but it didn't work out. Just like since then, you've just been single. I I was single for like maybe two years afterwards, not wanting to meet anybody, just by myself. Oh, and you're but, okay with it? Well, I was. Until now, I mean, it's as I decided to come here, right? <laughs> as to you can see, work. maybe. So and I saw I saw something mm -hmm. like mm, someone tweeted that it, it it isn't good to stay single for too long because you you tend to start losing touch as to how to love people to 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 keep people close and all of that and it it, it hits me mm -hmm. because most times you know um, people become so nice to you and you are trying to. You are, try, you are asking yourself, what is their motive? What do they want? Like, you're suspicious of um, people that come around you because you, you just feel like, mm, at the end of the day, you waste your time, waste your time, waste your yeah, time. You still do what true. is in their head. Mm -hmm. But it's, not, it's really not like that. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of love. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I hope that um, when, when I finally find love again it shouldn't be um one that will go away 
Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, how about you? When was your last relationship? My last relationship. Please don't mind. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to be very emotional just on my hand. No, I don't. I don't. Just hold my hand. No, don't worry, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, so here. My last relationship ended. Um, when did it end? This year? I think um, two months ago, yeah. Two months ago. Yeah, and it's months ago, guess. It finally it, ended wait, two months ago. Uh, because that, that was what I wanted. Did it end two months ago? It finally ended. It two finally months. ended two months ago. So when at what point do you realize that okay, this is not going to work? Because uh, I believe everybody breakup. Pardon? After the first breakup. How many times did you guys break up? Uh, several times, a couple of times, yeah. You break up and go back and break up yeah, again. Yeah. So breaking up, coming back, I mean the love, everything was just dying dying down. Let me just break that way. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you when you love people, right, yeah. they have certain privileges in your life that you make excuses for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's just it's she's just this, she's just that. But the moment you you maybe take a break, because if if you are coming back to the person, I wouldn't call it a breakup. When you take a break and you look at them from like a distance and be like, why am I making excuses for this person? If that person is a bad person, you will see it. Mm -hmm. So why did you go back? Yeah, it's not that he's a bad person. No, he's not a bad person. No. Yeah. Okay, so why did you leave? Um, I just left because I thought that was the right thing to do for me. Well, about her past relationship, I, I do have um, uh, a bit of, of, of a problem with people that break up and make up and break up and make up only to break up finally you do not you're not supposed to call break up when whatever differences you're having is um, something you can settle of course people fight but there are things that are you don't just go about them um, ending ending things because you feel like okay um, this person has offended you today i don't think it was working anymore the chemistry wasn't there like we're forcing things get we're trying so hard i know people fall out yeah you fall yes. out yeah. you break up yes. yeah there are issues mm -hmm. or problems but how you guys are able to tackle that situation that's what matters yeah so i mean we tried in our own situation we tried and tried it's like now it's not just working out there was how, prayers how long there was, was everything the um so yes plus okay. yeah two years plus Five check on a scale of one to ten. It's a one for me. It's not giving me that vibe I want. It just it's just there. It talks with this slow and really low. And I don't think I want that kind of thing. I like people with great sense of humor. Because if your sense of humor doesn't match mine, you you begin to find me very annoying quickly. That is the criteria for me to be saying yes. So Love in Abuja, and I hope she's pretty because if she's not, well, this yes can quickly turn to a no. I still have the other card. <laughs> well, I don't know yet. <laughs> it might be a yes, I might just surprise you guys though. It might be a yes, it might be a no, but I think I'll make my decision at the final round. No, now okay. it's a yes. I'm sorry, it's a no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a no, yeah. I need to put on my to see. Well, you use glasses, I see. Yeah, I do. Prescription? Yeah. Well, okay. blind bits. <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm, thank you. Sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry. What's your name? Mr. Goldigger. Oh yeah, gold digger. How would I forget how that? How would you forget that? Have I'll, you ever met? Forget. Have you ever met another gold, gold digger? No, I haven't. Sorry. So how would you forget? I'm sorry. Catherine. I'll never forget again. 
Yeah, no promising that. I will forget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I made my choice. Yeah. But how our conversation went. Yeah, I understand. And um, physically, you look pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Please don't make me cry. Don't be disappointed. Like okay? Thank you. <laughs> but I'm already crying. Please, I need handkerchiefs. I want to get me a Well, the reason for my choice. Yeah. Your confidence already telling you that it's it's a yes, it's a yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you might actually surprise me though. I mean both will surprise me here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. I think you're serious. <laughs> thank you. So um I like it. I like how you speak. Thank you. You speak really well. Thank you. And um for the majority of, of what we spoke about, the things you like are things I like. And um, you did not hit the things I like either. And for um, the the part of the kind of your ideal your ideal date, yeah. those are the kind of things I like to. It's not. I am not saying that I don't club, or it it is almost never my idea to go to the club. I like okay. fancy restaurants. I like restaurant hopping instead of bar hopping. Yeah, uh -huh. I like going to the park, going to the movies, stuff like that. Yeah. And dressing up. Anywhere that I need to dress up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're there. Oh, I, I, I didn't say this before, but having a good fashion sense is important to me as well. Oh, yeah, because I cannot be I cannot be out dressing you every time. You cannot, never. I, <laughs> I would take it. Well, so my, my choice. Yeah. And yeah, finding finding love in Abuja, hoping that this this might be the one that works, and it <laughs> it's a yes. Oh my god! <laughs> so on your end now, you that is looking for um um what 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 is his name again? This very big guy in in Hollywood, the muscular the muscular dude. <laughs> I can think. Oh, that girl back I hi. Mm-hmm. Please, I'm not looking for a bouncer. Please, <laughs> <laughs> I really mean, see so it works out. Whew. And um, okay, I've made a choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my choice is based on your conversation too. Mm -hmm. I mean, like the fact that you're so nice, you're cool, you sound very calm. I'm at like that. You're not too forward. I know the chat you like you like explaining a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I know like like, Yeah, I know you like explaining a lot and that part I did not really like it though. I mean it's good, yeah, but I mm. never really like that part. I mean apart from that apart from that, our vibe if I would ask you, what would you rate our vibe check? On what scale? One to ten. As for our conversation, yes, or did we vibe? including now, no. I think we are we are vibing even now more than more when than. we are blindfolded. So you will see. <laughs> they should stop doing something now. I will say that after now. Maybe we should stop doing it. Ah, if I even have to be me But don't worry, it's cool. Don't don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. It's cool. I really like you. Honestly, I do like you. I like the fact that you're calm. Okay. okay? And even seeing right now, oh god. But the choice has already been made, right? And okay. yes, I would want to change it. I would want I would want to say no. I want to say no, but that's yeah, fine. What what do you actually <laughs> fine? So you're you're even pranking when you said, Oh, you want someone that is fine, so your daughter can't be this, your child can't be this. But anyways, I'm sorry, okay. You don't whatever happens so. here, whatever, whatever <laughs> this is, does it, that doesn't doesn't signify anything, all right? I mean, I just have to make the choice because to a certain level, I don't think we've vibed so well. I mean, I don't think you matched my vibe. I I said I want someone that knows how to laugh. 
you get so that I can play with you. So that it's so calm. Plus, I'm very calm. Don't mind all the things you say, no. I'm very, very calm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just seeing myself in you right now. Like, okay, Karen, this is you. You get this is a part that I just have to bring up because I'm outside. You understand? No, you want so, you, you want a lousy person. No, no, I'm not talking about a lousy person. I just want the guy that is fun to be with you get. Mm. Like the one I'm talking right now, I want a guy that can also no, chit chat me and all that. You you are likely I think you're the first person who, who is thinking I'm not fun to be with. No, I never think you're not fun spirited. I just said, well, as you being yeah, a woman for, yeah. Probably if we had met in another place or to get another thing, it wouldn't have been like this. We are blindfolded. How old you so know? we have to choose because we are blind we are blindfolded. That, that <laughs> is the point true. of it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I made my choice based on that end. Mm -hmm. Can I see your card again? <laughs> Can I change my mind if I want to change? Well, just look at me. Yeah. Um, personally, I I feel in situations like this, it's it's not in um, the other person's. Um, the ball is not in my court. Yeah, it's in my court. Because I made my own choice. Uh, whatever choice you're, you're making should be what you want. It shouldn't be what you think I would, I would, would like. want you to yeah. So it has to be what you want. What it, what it, what it, come on. Oh, very darling. Okay. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are not being fair, yeah, but it's not funny. Yeah, it's not oh, because um, I don't want the fact that would go. I would say yes. We'll get to date, go out, go out on date and all that. And what I don't like now, definitely see them there. Okay, so I just want to avoid that. But apart from that, you're a really nice person. You're mm -hmm. likable, you're lovable. You're calm. Yeah, of course. Which is fine. Thank you. Hi, guys. My name is Karen and... Unfortunately, I didn't find love in Abuja, but if you like me, I mean, the comment section is open. Just tell me what you like about me then. Who knows? We might, we might match. Love you. Hi, guys. My name is Mr. Goldiga, and um, unfortunately, the day did not pan out as expected. So if you like um, anything about me, uh, the comment section is open. You can you can drop your comments, and you will likely be my next uh, date.